you know, it just gives me such great pleasure to call these two individuals up to the front, Mr. and Mrs. Bell. Let's give them a hand as they come. Well, Valerie told me that Mayor Bloomberg and 41 city council members approved the street naming, which this happened to Sean to name it Sean Bell Way. Sean Bell Way. But like my husband said, he's working for his son before we're doing it. Um, we have a foundation called the Sean Elijah Bell Foundation. His love was baseball. His trade was to be an electrician. We didn't even think about naming the street after my son. One day, this lady from the community board 12 came to us and said that somebody from her community board wanted to name the street after Sean, and she said, well, you're not the parents. Thank God she did come to us. It was in August 2008. We went in front of the board in December 2008. We didn't have enough of them, but we came back strong. We had to put a bio together of my son. We had to get a petition signed of Liverpool Street in Queens, where it happened at, that's where they're going to name the street. And for his birthday this year, May 18th, he would have been 27. They're gonna, we're going to have a street party for him. Spread the news because my son was known worldwide. And it's a shame it had to happen this way. My husband said he was going to be famous. We love you, Sean. Your name will go on. God bless. I don't have no idea to say after that. <laughs> my wife always said, that, you know, the great thing. But one thing I always see, the love I have, the love people gave me to make that name possible. Marty has a GED program that's global. It's a global initiative. When someone drops out of school, but this right, a year later they can take their GED and go to college, right, Marty? Okay, I'm not going to try to tell it here. I'll let Marty tell Well, now they can go into class. <laughs> yeah, this has been the problem for 40 years in the United States, that the youth drop out and they don't know from their schools that if they were discharged from school a year, a year later, they can take the GED before the people in class take it, you know, the other 17, 18, 19 year olds, earn their diploma, go on to either college or some other educational program, go into the military if they want to, get a job, and that's what's been wrong for 40 years. So we're working on a new initiative for New York State, and we hope it'll go all over the nation, and it's very important. We have a global initiative, Armando's here. You know, okay, we hope to do uh, GED around the world in Spanish, French, and English, Af for Africa, for Haiti, Okay, I was with the Haitians today as, as they're fighting to get protection so they can stay here legally and work and do the things we all do. Okay, so, so basically, we don't want the youth to drop out of school to do the GD, but we want to get millions and millions of people a diploma and make this country better for everybody. That's what we want to do. I'm trying to talk quickly because I know what Armando has to talk about with his campaign. I'm eager to hear it, so let me just move out the way. Go ahead, Armando. Tell him about what we're doing. Ross, thank you so much, and uh, I appreciate everybody that's here today. Um, Marty, Denberg, um, Sean Bell's family, Jan Master Jay's family, and everybody else that's here. Um, it's an honor, a pleasure, and with great humility, you know, I'd like to say that, you know, everybody that came out to support this, it's a beautiful cause, and anytime Roz is involved with something, I have a lot of respect for it. Um, my background is in the entertainment industry for many years I've worked, and I've met with a lot of celebrities, artists, models, people of a lot of different relationships, backgrounds, but I always believe that in life, if we are blessed with great relationships and we are in this position where we can help you know, advocate some kind of change, then it's important for us to use those relationships to better humanity in any way, shape, or form. And I was blessed with a lot of relationships that I've acquired over the years and I realized that it's very important for me 
to use these relationships. And I started a campaign called Celebrities, Citizens, and Children Against Poverty with a target year of 2015. Um, there is a great humanitarian campaign called End Poverty 2015, which is uh, uh, advocated by the United Nations, which is the largest, one of the greatest humanitarian campaigns on the planet. What it does is it brings together 189 countries for a global cause. Yet, because of the bureaucracy and the politics of the world, a lot of the initiatives that they're trying to achieve have not been you know, properly executed. So I decided to create a campaign to be a, a catalyst for their campaign using celebrity voices, citizens. Why citizens? Because we are all citizens of the earth and we all care. We have a stake in the future. Um, children, today's children are very educated, they're very resourceful. And these are the children that create the beauty of what's going to be today's tomorrow. And everybody here, grandfathers, fathers, uncles, aunts, no matter who we are, we are all somebody's children. So we embrace that feeling, and I realize that including every person in the world under this campaign, citizens, celebrities, children, everybody involved, and using the voices, we can all come together for a common cause and help make a difference. The beauty is I was able to reach out to all major artists of every ethnicity, from every different country, and they all embrace the cause. So I appreciate everybody's involvement and support. And Raj, thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to relay this information. And once again, you can check out the campaign. Um, it's CAP2015.org is the website. And it's a new campaign here to support a very old initiative, which is eradicating poverty and all the dehumanizing conditions that affect the entire world. So thank you so much for your time.